Hey there, this is Chris Sev from Better Dev. In this video, we're gonna be making this double confirm Tailwind button. Now, Zapier is kind of where I first saw this sort of UI interaction where there's a delete button. And usually when you see a delete button, you click it, there's this big modal that pops up and it goes, are you sure? And you go, yes, I'm sure, click the red button. So here we have a different style where you click it and immediately there's a double confirm that's right on the button, no giant modal that has to happen, it's just right there. So I think this is a really fun UI element and we're gonna build this out with Tailwind and a little bit of JavaScript. So let's get started here. We're gonna go to a brand new code pen. I'm gonna go into the CSS settings, come down here to our external style sheets, add in Tailwind, and here we go. So I'm gonna save that. And as with a lot of our demos, we're gonna do minimum height is screen. We're gonna go for background blue at 900, and then we're gonna go flex, item center, and justify center. And those last three are to center our entire demo into the main part of this page. Now, I thought long and hard about the uh, HTML of how this button would look. And initially, I did it like this. I did a button, and then inside of it, I did, a, actually, I'll do that, span, and then inside of that, a span. So this said delete, and then this one said really. But the thing about this is that a button and if you have a delete button, you probably want it to be inside of an HTML form. Just for semantically, this is the correct way to do it, is a form, a button, and your button type is submit. And traditionally for like a delete, you are gonna maybe spoof a method. So you'd be like input type is um, method and value is like delete or something like that. But here, if we have the button and it's a double confirm button, then you'd technically be pressing that button twice. And that's not something we really wanna do because the first click isn't to actually submit the form, the first click is just to show the real button. So really the button is this one right here, button. And then this one is actually the div. So now this type submit can get dropped down to this button. And HTML buttons by default are type submit if they are inside of a form tag. So technically we don't really need this one right here. So this is gonna be our overall structure right here. I'm gonna turn that into a div as well. So this is gonna be the delete button that actually exists. And this is what's gonna slide in after we click once. And this delete button right here is gonna be the first thing that we click, but it's not really a button that's clickable. We're just using it as a UI element. So um, I guess if you really wanted to be semantic about it, since it is clickable, you can go button right here and we can say type is button. And then down here we say type is submit. So I guess this is probably the proper way to do it. So yeah, we'll keep it this way. Uh, and that is supposed to be button to close that out. All right, so next up, let's try to style out each of these buttons. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hold command and click there. And then we're gonna say, well, let's split that out just so we can get uh, a little bit more room in this code pen. And I'm gonna say right here and here, class is equal to, and let's style out these buttons as if they really existed. We're gonna go padding Y of five, padding X of 10, font mono. And those are the easy ones. And then the first one is gonna be background is black and text is gonna be gray at maybe 300. This one is gonna be background red at, let's go for uh, 800 and text red, uh, red at 300. Okay, so that looks good there. So the technique here is basically, we are going to have this div say class, and that's gonna be overflow hidden. And then also this one is gonna be positioned absolutely. So now that they're sitting side by side and the button right here is div overflow hidden, I'm gonna actually add this to relative. And now it's gonna sit outside of this button. So you don't see it, but it's really there if I take off the overflow hidden. And this technique is called off canvas, where this is our canvas right here. And then the button is gonna sit off the canvas. And when we do um, hover or click, we're gonna say this entire thing shifts over 
a little bit. And I've got a video on off canvas. If you want to check that out, I'll add a link there. So the last step to this is that we can't really translate this. If, watch this. If I did a transform and I did a translate X at full, and that should be a negative translate because we want to translate it to the left. So if I did that, it wouldn't really show because we're translating this whole div. So the way to solve this problem is we're going to, I know we're getting into some dividus here. I'm gonna go div right here and a div right here. And this div is the one that we're going to translate left and right. So now this class relative gets pushed to this. Class is relative. And watch this, I'm gonna go transform, negative, translate, x at full. So now the really comes in. So if I did translate x at one half, you could see it just translating in halfway. So it kind of slides itself in off of the canvas into the canvas. And that's basically the class that we're going to add translate x at full. And that's the technique in a nutshell. So the next part to that is we need to add a transition so it kind of slides in nicely. We're going to add a duration of maybe 500. And we're going to do a transition function for uh, ease in out. So this is going to be the delete button right here. And let me fix this HTML comment. And we're going to add the confirm button here. And I should have done my HTML uh, comments <laughs> before all this. And let me drop the size here. Okay. So now we have our confirm button, we have our delete button, we have the div right here, and we have our canvas, which is right here. So really for this technique, you need a outside wrapper and then a inside wrapper. And then we just translate the inside wrapper and slide it over. So I'm going to remove this translate X full right here. And that should be good. So now the next step to this is going and doing some JavaScript. But if you wanted to really test this with CSS, no JavaScript, you could do hover uh, and then paste that in negative translate X full. So as I hover it, you'll see that it slides in right there. So if you wanted, you could do this with just CSS and you wouldn't even need to do the JavaScript, right? So that's kind of a fun tactic right there, but we are gonna add the JavaScript in so I'm going to add a class right here and I'm going to call it double confirm. And this isn't going to be the cleanest JavaScript we're going to write because I probably would add some more classes. Actually, let's do it. Uh, double confirm inner. So I'm going to go const. Well, let's do some JavaScript uh, comments, grab all the things and then add event listeners. So let's see, grab all the things. Const double confirm is equal to document dot query selector. And I'm going to grab the dot double confirm. Okay. And the const double confirm inner is going to be document dot query selector. And what I was going to do was say dot double confirm and choose the first div with that arrow right there. But since we have a class for it, we're going to do double confirm inner. So we're just really, really uh, explicit about what we're grabbing. All right. So next up, we add the event listeners. We have everything we need. We have all of the um, styles ready to go. So here we're just going to go double confirm dot add event listener. And we're doing this with just plain old JavaScript, no uh, React or anything like that. Add event listener. We're going to listen for the click event. And then we're going to do a function here. And we're going to say double confirm inner class list dot add. And then I'm going to paste in that E translate or sorry, negative translate X full. All right. So what happens here is we are saying, okay, when you click on that double confirm, which is the entire div that is wrapping all of the buttons. We're going to say, okay, on the inner class list, add the translate X full, and that should slide everything over. And then our delete button should show really. So if I click here, it'll show really, and then you can click there 
and finally get to the actual form submission, which won't go anywhere right here. But let me save that and refresh. And that's our entire button. So we have uh, done all of our Tailwind styles. We've created two buttons, uh, made them sit side by side by positioning this one absolutely. And we are able to slide that in using a transform and a translate right here. And then the other trick to that is saying overflow hidden on the parent so that uh, if it's off the side, it doesn't show. And again, we're inside a form and I think we did pretty good with our semantic HTML. So that's in a nutshell how you create this really cool double confirm button with Tailwind with a little bit of JavaScript. And you can do it without the JavaScript if you wanted. You just have that hover translate X full. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, a little bit of fun for your UI that you can add for your users. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.